All right, gang, conductor. salute, y'all. I am Conductor Williams. Welcome to the channel. This video, we're going to get into a beat breakdown for a song that I made for my instrumental album, 2019 instrumental album, Conductor, We Have a Problem. The song is called Man, Myth, Legend. Conductor. Can't wait to get into it and tell y'all about it. Patreon's going crazy. Shout out all the union and Union Plus members over there. You know, it's really rare to get in on a community, you know, at the beginning of it. So I'm really excited for that community that we've started on Patreon. If you're interested, uh, check the description. Corey, throw a quick link up or something. But yeah, we're really cooking over there. Beat contest, sample packs, members only merch, tons of shit going on over there. You guys check it out. But enough of that. Let's get into the man, myth, legend, beat. It's just fire. I'm excited. Let's do it. So, Man Myth Legend on my album, Conductor We Have a Problem, for 2019. Now, it's very important that I explain to y'all where my headspace was at that time. Because for you Griselda fans, I hadn't had a placement yet with West Side Gun. So, Eurostep hasn't happened yet. And this is kind of right before that, 2018. So, as I've discussed on this channel plenty of times. There was a moment that I had around 2016 where I had to make a definitive stance to I'm going to go for music 100% or I'm going to go towards my corporate job, supply for my family, and just, you know, do it. I chose to keep going at music. And this is very important because what it did was it changed my mindset and made me recalculate and actually think about why I'm actually doing this shit. Why am I working for my day job 12 hours a day, getting off work and coming home to tend to my family and do music? Why am I doing the music part? Why don't I just play video games and chill and like do regular stuff? Like how come? And what it boiled down to for me was music makes me happy. I really feel just being able to create music that it is my gift from God to pacify me, to make my anxieties go away. That gift from our heavenly father for me to do this, right? So now I'm in the crosshairs of doing something that makes me happy and getting acceptance from a community of professionals, the rap industry or the music industry. So in my mind now, I'm like, yo, why am I actually doing this? Is, is that acceptance that important to me? And as I whittled away at that idea, I found myself saying, I'm the one. So we gonna go full coal train at this thing and I'm going to supply music for people that understand what I'm doing, even if it's just five or six people. And that's the mindset that I had. And in 2016, I started with that mindset, just making beats. Now, I stopped DMing rappers. I stopped any kind of, like, South by Southwest, no, you know, no, no knock at any of those type of things, community things. I just said, I'm going to dive into what I do. And those that like it will hang around. Those that don't like it won't hang around. So with knowing that, and taking that stance, basically signing that contract with myself that I'm only going to focus on Instagram, put out instrumental albums, that's it. I signed that contract with myself, for myself, and boom, like that. So I'm cooking. A couple years passed. Looking back at it now, I probably had like 2,000 followers on Instagram. And 2018, I decide to make an album called Conductor, We Have a Problem, an instrumental album. This is the last of the 100 that I pressed back then. And I found this in the closet over there. And far from the 80% rule, like 80-20 Harvard rule, business rule, far from that, I was just hoping that maybe 5% of my 2,000 people would buy. And obviously, I still had one left. So I, I must have got rid of somehow 99. <laughs> that just really goes to show when you double down on yourself, you bet on yourself. I was 100% in. I was like, you know what? I'm going to just keep doing albums like this and then make a hundred of them and sell them for $10, $20 to the people that really want to support me, the people that really love me. Basically, what I'm doing with Patreon right now is what I was doing here. So shout out to all of y'all that have this. So Man Myth Legend is the second song on it, my most popular streamed song from that album. And let's do it. All right, so Man Myth Legend starts with a couple tracks. It's all of five tracks long four tracks long so let's kind of go through 
what I call our mute, our mute stanzas, our mute groups here. I wanted this shit to be a magic carpet ride. <laughs> Not a magic carpet ride, okay. I wanted it to be like a song that could be a soundtrack for entering a room full of vultures, a room full of sharks, and um, you're a hunter, and you're king, and you're queen. You know, you're you're empowering yourself. So I wanted it to be the slow, methodical thing, and I found the sample. Sample's crazy. Quick little chops on that. You know what I'm saying? Too happy. Way too happy. Way too happy. Way too happy, yo. Put the flash on it. You got flash? Woo! Yes, sir. It's just that power, like, just that, like, uh, power, you know what I'm saying? First track. Now it's this mythical, mythical figure, you know what I'm saying? Like a, texturally, just a mythical thing. And this is it, right? Like, this is it. Drums. Yo, I didn't even have to do the drums. I didn't have to. I didn't even have to place those on there because it's feeling good right now. Like it's feeling good right now. But the drums just like out of this world, bro. Sometimes it is the like for me in instrumentals it is very much like that that moment for me with instrumentals where it's just those other little things that are in there you know just like those just that simple just like those things I feel great when I discover those sounds and, and I find artists that do that a person that does that phenomenally and then in the most phenomenal way is uh Tyler the creator you know as a producer he's brilliant as a rapper he's brilliant as a clothing designer he's brilliant but with his production it's these little like nuances and glides or might be a little shaker or a little triangle or a, a, something that he'll put in there another person that does it really really well that doesn't really get talked about in my opinion as much as he should and that's black milk he is a masterful producer a masterful drum programmer and the things that he does inside outside of chops is just is crazy so i always try to implement just some other little simple little things and in this case it was that and then play the rest you know what i mean yeah man myth man myth Legend is what I should, I should have put an F on there, but that's Man Myth Legend. And that is streaming on all DSPs. So it's streaming everywhere. Conductor, we have a problem. We put it out on vinyl. They all sold out. Shout out to my brother Corey over at Near Mint. Because this is before Eurostep dropped. And like I told you, I had this before. When Eurostep dropped, I reached out to 
a bunch of labels, small independent labels, to do a pressing of, of it, you know? Put it on vinyl. And everybody really played me left. Everybody I contacted played me left. And Corey over at Near Mint, he contacted me and was like, bro, I want to do something with you. Like, I got to do something. We got to do a tape or we got to do a vinyl or we can do merch or we can do clothing, like anything. He was just so hype about working with me. We did a small run, I think 300 vinyl. They went fast. Once people discovered me from Eurostep and realized that I was the person that did that, I think a lot of that helped. But also that fundamental group that bought this, that uh, was already rocking with me on Instagram, they all bought it. And it, you know, it went up. It went up, man. That's why I always rock with Near Mint. Like people ask me all the time, like, yo, why you why you work with Near Mint? Like, why not, you know, such and such? And it's just because they were the first people that wanted to do an instrumental project with me. Not like, hey, can you get West Side to rap on it? Or will you do something with this guy or do something with that guy? Corey hit me like, yo, I want you to do. And that that means the world to me and it still does. So Corey, if you're watching this, bro, probably told you a million times, but I'll tell you again and again, thank you for seeing me at that stage and then having the vision to see where we are now. So I don't know if we'll ever reissue the conductor we have a problem, the vinyl one. I don't know if I'll ever put this cover out. I think this could be a cool cover. So if you guys can uh, spam <laughs> Corey at uh, Near Mint or just go to the Near Mint IG, maybe spam them and we'll put out here after a while a limited uh, this cover if I, you know, if we can do it. So that's it, man. Man, myth, legend. Garner your dreams and your goals, man. Make a decision. You know, for all you artists out there that are that are. Uh, teetering the line of going full-time, your heart can't be the only thing when you get ready to, to make a decision to keep your day job and do music or go full-time with music. Your mind has got to be mentally tough and your faith has got to be at the highest because there are highs and lows of being uh, a professional artist and you just have to you have to measure those out, take the good with the bad. Fortunately, in my situation, I was just insane enough to continue to work a full-time job and do music and until music cracked and then when music cracked off you know what i'm saying take a look around the room look at wifey look at the kids and i'm like the numbers add up let's do it full-time type shit and uh you know i pray that you all have um your desires in heart for making the artwork but i also pray that you are spiritually in alignment enough to hear the voice uh, of the bridegroom telling you to like yo you know you need to stay at uh, at your job, you know, whether even in McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? You need to stay working, keep doing music, you're not ready yet. And the closer you get that communication with, you know, God or the universe or whatever, you truly can hear hear the voice of God telling you, make, make this play, make that play. Be around those people, don't be around those people, and you can really dial in. I liken it to being on an airplane, and my, my closest friend you know, outside of wifey is my dad. If my dad's in the back of that plane and I'm in the front of it, if he said my name at a medium volume, I would know that was him without looking because our communication is so constant to where I'd be able to pick his voice out of out of a, a crowded room, a crowded plane. And I always think about that paralleled with spirituality and God because if you're not listening, actively talking and listening and praying and meditating, you'll lose, I lose that connection when I when I don't meditate and pray. Yeah, man. Keep grinding. We over at the Patreon. I'm telling you, we over at the Patreon. I'm doing all kind of, all kind of crazy stuff that I always wanted to do, and there's more to come. So I think we got like, we've only been up for a month, and we got like 20 posts or something like that. Been going live. Been doing a lot of things. So definitely hit the Patreon. Conductorweaveaproblem.com for the new merch. Yo, look at this thing, man. I got a David Hammonds flip too, where we flip the uh, Black American flag. Shout out uh, to my guy ATM. But yeah, that's all I got. So, till next time. Conductor out. Conductor, we have a problem.